Citizenship. The United States is a representative democracy. In a democracy, all political power comes from citizens. A citizen is a legal member of a country in the United States. The most, most people become citizens by being born on U.S. territory. Immigrants to the United States can become citizens through a legal process known as naturalization. Rights and responsibilities. Citizens' rights and responsibilities can come from a number of sources. These sources include constitutions, cultural traditions, and religious laws in some countries. Americans' basic rights are protected by the Bill of Rights, a part of the U.S. Constitution. The first 10 amendments to the Constitution was that Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights and other laws protect rights such as freedom of speech and freedom of religion. If the government violates, violates these rights, citizens can fight the injustice in court. So it's not take the law into your own hands. It shouldn't be violently. But we have legal systems which you can approach and you can, pro, you can um, fight these violations. For the most part, these rights are also guaranteed to non-citizens. So immigrants that may be in our country seeking safety and seeking shelter. Americans also have responsibilities. For example, we have the right to speak freely, but we also have the responsibility to allow others to say things we may not agree with. And we need to do that peacefully. That's part of our constitution. We can't take that right away from other people. Our responsibilities include a duty to participate in government and civic life, to know what's going on in your city council and your local government, or activities having to do with one society and community. Voting is both a right and a responsibility for U.S. citizens. Rights and responsibilities can vary widely in different countries and societies. Although most democratic governments protect basic human rights, non-democratic governments often do not. Citizens who live in autocracies or oligarchies usually cannot take part in government or express their views openly. So in North Korea, we saw in the, the CNN article that Kim Jong-un was spending the country's money on those big weapons and not on feeding the people. Unfortunately, there's a lot of starvation in North Korea because the government isn't taking care of the people, but is building the military up for conflicts with other countries. Citizenship worldwide. Ideas about rights and responsibilities can change over time. Many countries have become democracies over the past 200 years. These democracy, democracies now protect basic human rights, such as freedom of expression, freedom from unfair imprisonment. Some of these countries did not protect these rights in the past or did not protect the rights for all people. Great Britain, just 300 years ago, was ruled by a king. Now it does still have a queen, but the parliament makes most of the laws and the prime minister does most, the queen works with the prime minister for most of the, the enforcing those laws for most of the government. Some of these countries did not protect these rights in the past or did not protect these rights for people at all. Today, international trade, transportation, airlines going back and forth, and communication have linked the world's people. As a result, some people think that we should consider ourselves to be citizens of a global community. They believe that we are responsible for supporting human rights and equality for all people around the world. So if there's a place where there's injustice, a lot of people believe, that, especially as the U.S., we have a lot of wealth and power in our nation, that we should use it to do good, that we should help people around the world as well as help the people within our own country. Make sure, again, you read all of the pictures and the captions. Civic participation or taking part in government. Make sure you know civic participation means taking part in your government. Here are some ways for, to participate in your government. Keeping informed about local and state issues. Contacting an electoral representative, an elected representative, such as a state legislature or member of Congress. Voicing opinions at town meetings public can attend. Taking part in public gatherings, protests, or demonstrations, but following laws. That's also our civic responsibility is to follow the law so we can peacefully meet to protest. Signing a petition or formal request for government to do something. Running for public office. A lot of people want to complain about the leaders, but not a lot of people want to run to be the governor or to be the president because they're really hard jobs. If you think about them, they're, they consume your whole life trying to make laws and protect people. And you have millions of people that lives that you are responsible for. 
So running for office, starting a lot of people start local, work their way up through state legislatures or state senates, and then work their way into federal, into Washington, D.C. Getting involved in a political party, a group that supports candidates for public offices, joining an interest group, a group that seeks. There are uh, political party offices, just locally even, to get candidates for Muskegon County. Um, you can work with that to understand what the party stands for and to get better knowledge. That, so being part of the government is really important as well. It takes a lot of volunteers and citizens to make a democracy work for everybody to do their part and to protect that democracy so that we don't fall into some of the other kind of governments that are in other places around the world. So citizenship is very important. 